Hey, good morning people. I hope you're having a great start to your Friday and uh, it's like so dark here of a morning. I'm really excited for daylight savings to finish even though I like the extra time definitely of a night time. Um, but uh, hey Dan, great to have you on honey. So um, I'm not actually out of my morning walk because it is like literally pitch black still outside so I'm uh, not sure if you can kind of see that but uh, I hope you've all had a great week and uh, hey Diane great to have you on honey and today I'm um, really excited to chat about resistance and how to overcome resistance to actually receiving more this is something that I think we all do at times and we like literally block um, that next level of goodness coming into our life hey Cecilia great to have you on and uh, it really does make Make things really quite challenging uh, when we're wanting to up level our life when we're wanting to receive perhaps more money or receive um, greater relationships or even just that next level of love for ourselves in really expanding how we're actually feeling about ourselves and uh, that next level of confidence or perhaps that promotion or um, I'm just trying to think of other things but definitely like we can block so much greatness flowing into our life and some of the signs are around this is definitely if we are in worry, doubt or fear, um, it, it really, uh, and some of these can be quite evasive as well. So I really want to go through these so that you can actually really recognize, ah, that's what's actually happening because we all have these thermostats in life where it's kind of like it almost like we reach a, a circuit point or a breaker point within our circuits or our systems where it's like oh that's too good and you'll be able to recognize this if you're like going oh my god my life is going too good and you start to get a bit nervous like what's going to go wrong now and that is like literally you you're in your upper limits and it's time to expand again to receive even more greatness into our life as well and um it's definitely something like um, I've spoken about with uh, quite a few people and obviously read in, in books and different courses and things like that as well where um, it, it, each level of success has this next level of uh, basically the thermostat where we need to be not only raising our standards from um, what we'll no longer accept in our life, you know, it, that might be a certain amount of money um, that we always want to have in our bank account, a certain level of income, um, or it could be a certain level of health, a uh, certain weight in our life. So we all have those those lower thermostats as well where it's like when we hit that point it's like oh my god I've got to do something about that but we also have these upper limit ones as well where it's kind of like oh it's getting too good <laughs> oh, my, oh my god <laughs> you know oh what's gonna happen now you know and um, this is it, it, it's really great to overcome this so um, like I said one of the first things I have actually taken notes because I just thought I wanted to make sure that I covered off on all of these things so the, one of the, the first um, things is you'll find coming up could be that you don't feel worthy or don't feel deserving of this next level. It's like, oh my goodness, you know, to have that, I just, I don't feel worthy enough of that or I don't feel like I deserve that. And again, all of these things are literally the ego or the survival mind trying to keep us safe. Like we're hardwired that way since birth uh, where it's uh, it's very much about belonging and fitting in. So um, the ego mind always wants to feel significant. It always wants to feel like it's enough. Whereas when we come back to our heart and soul, we know that intimately just by tuning in, tapping into our heart and soul. If you're worried about not being enough or you're feeling lack or fear, know that that is just a function of the mind of the ego mind and it is just trying to keep you safe by trying to keep you small and limit you our heart our soul is totally expansive is totally knows anything is possible that you can be do have anything so when this is kind of coming up just reminding yourself as well ah, oh, it's not my true self this is just my ego mind just trying to protect me trying to keep me small trying to keep me belonging and fitting in to um, to my peer or peer group or my family or things like that because um, it, the ego mind gets very scared if it's rocking the boat or if it kind of feels like it's the tall pop or it's getting too big for its boots or any of those things so that's all just a function of the ego um, so not worthy or deserving another one is like doubt or fear or failure so um, 
it, it really does come up like it's it's like that feeling like oh my god I just I don't know that I can do this um, where we're doubting ourselves and I actually had um, a great uh, call with one of my mentors on Tuesday um, which was just incredible around this as well because um, sometimes we believe that other people can do it we can believe that things can can definitely happen and that it's possible but is it really possible for us and that's where we're kind of um, or, or whether we can actually make that work or whether we can actually do it and so again that's just another sign of resistance that we're actually blocking our own good and not really great stuff kind of show up in our life as well um, another bit is like holding yourself back and you might have felt that just even energetically or emotionally within yourself you know you're not bringing your full self to the table um, or that you you really playing full out and going all at it you know it's kind of like just dipping your toe in the water and going oh I'll just kind of test this out and see how this goes no it's like it's got to be full commitment and so if you know if you're holding yourself back that will be another sign of resistance as well um, another fear that can come up for people so there's not only like the fear of failure or you know doubt that I can do it but there's also the fear of well what are other people going to think of me like oh my goodness if I've got this money goal and I'm going after it, are other people going to think that I'm greedy or are other people going to be jealous of me or if I have this rocking hot body you know are, are other people going to say well she's obsessed about a body or you know what are those fears that kind of come up that where you're scared about what other people might think or you're worried about what other people might think or one of the other things that I've noticed as well is like not wanting to make other people feel uncomfortable as well so it's obviously resonating um, and uh, more than happy if you guys have got questions as well like pop some questions in um, more than happy to to um, play around and, and and definitely interact on that level as well so um, because it, it really can be some of the things that, that like we would block so much great stuff coming into our life because of this stuff so um, one of the other things like I said that I was noticing was um, not and this really is a function of ego as well because it's like feeling like you don't want to make other people uncomfortable um, if you're up leveling and they're choosing not to and again it's it, it comes back to that ego wanting to stay safe not wanting to stand out um, and wanting to fit in and belong um, but it's actually projecting that fear onto other people and what we're actually doing is we're limiting um, other people with our own thoughts as well going oh well if I'm going for this but they're not well then you know it, it kind of feels a little bit judgmental or things like that and again ego is judgmental criticizing blaming projecting withdrawing hiding all of those things so it's not our truer self so we just can recognize that and I'll jump into in a second um, how we can actually overcome all of these things as well so procrastination distraction and just not showing up for yourself is another big sign that you're in resistance so have you ever had that you know where you've got that inner conflict or that push-pull where it's like one part of you is like no I have to I should I need to I must and the other part's like no I don't want to and it kind of like you feel like you, you can't move anywhere so um, with one of the things that I'll, I'll teach you afterwards around this we can just drop the resistance and then just move freely into whatever it is that we're actually wanting to do and start to take action as well so anytime that you are up leveling in your life you will definitely experience some level of fear um, or some level of this upper limit syndrome that can kind of kick in and Gay Hendricks actually wrote a great book on this called The Big Leap um, and uh, it, it was I've resonated so much with what he spoke about in there as well and the different ways that we can kind of sabotage ourselves or limit ourselves um, just through resistance and fear um, the last one is like tension in your body so if you're feeling tense in your body that means you are in struggle you are in resistance um, to just allowing life to flow through you your body is meant to feel amazing you're meant to wake up with lots of energy and feel joyful every single day and if we don't something is off something is not um, going on that that really is true to our truest nature so um, when when I say that it's you know it's almost like struggling to swim upstream thinking everything that we want is upstream and you know you're working so hard but you feel like you're actually not getting very far and that is when we're totally in struggle and resistance and it's exhausting and it is 
frustrating beyond imagining. <laughs> so, hey, Keila, great to have you on. Hey, Nat, great to have you on too, darling. Um, so this can be really, really exhausting, and you'll know that because your body will feel exhausted. You'll feel tired. You'll feel like, oh, my goodness, nothing is working. I just want to give up. And what this will be is you're not fully aligned to that goal or to what it is that you're wanting because you've still got some resistance or fear going on. Um, around that which is blocking you from really having what you want. Um, I love the analogy of just, you know, when we're in flow, and it doesn't mean that we're not taking action or perhaps not even putting in um, lots of hours around stuff, but it will feel joyful. You'll feel great doing it, and you'll feel energized and inspired as opposed to I have to, I need to, I must, I've got to push myself, um, and, and doing all of those things as well. So it's kind of like just flowing downstream, knowing, um, you know, a kicking back on the lilo perhaps and maybe um, steering yourself occasionally to make sure that you're heading to the right bank um, but it is knowing that everything that you want it really is downstream and when you align yourself energetically and emotionally with your goals believing fully that you can have them be it believing fully that you're deserving of that and your truest self knows that it's only the heart or the mind sorry it's only the ego mind um, that has some old beliefs or limiting beliefs and things that can really block us hey Anne, great to have you on um, um, that really can shut this down as well. So um, how do we actually overcome this? The first thing is awareness. So if you notice that you're tense in your body, I promise you, I assure you, you have got resistance in some form. There's some area of your life that feels really hard or really challenging. If it's across the shoulders, perhaps you've got the belief that you're taking, you have to take on responsibility of others or you're feeling burdened in some way with others. Louise Hay's Heal Your Life book is absolutely amazing for understanding what are the correlated thought patterns that go on with the disease states within the body as well. Hey Annette, great to have you on. Hey Dee. Um so awareness is really, really key. If you're looking for the signs and symptoms in your body as to clues as to what you're actually resisting or why you're resisting something, um, definitely go to that book. Even type in um, where you're sore and then put metaphysical reason um, or metaphysical symptom in Google. There's always plenty of information that comes up. Um, but like back is all about, so it tends to make logical sense as well. So back is all about being supported. Legs are all about being able to move forward or feet is all about being able to move forward easily. Um, arms and, and hands generally are, you know, what am I holding on to or what do I need to let go of? Um, or what am I trying to grip onto if I'm in fear? So awareness is absolutely super, super important with this. And um, just noticing like when the fear comes up or when you're procrastinating or when you're distracting yourself, um, so one big thing that tends to happen for entrepreneurs or people like business people that are really going for things is they'll get distracted by lots of shiny objects and they won't actually stay their one true um, main course until that project is completed and they'll find themselves with lots of uncompleted things which again can be really really frustrating so um, just noticing where are you procrastinating where are you distracting where are you not showing up for yourself so perhaps you know you've got a story or a habit but um, if you're going to exercise, um, where you wake up and you're like, yep, I'm going to go exercise. And then it's just like, you know what? I, I just can't be bothered. Like that is resistance. And so aligning yourself to what it is that you want. So this is the second phase. So awareness is number one. Second thing is, what do I want instead? I don't want to feel this sense of frustration. I don't want to feel this sense of, you know, I can't do it or it's too hard or what if I fail or what are other people going to think or any of those other things that I spoke about. It really comes back to definitely, um, getting clear what do I want and why do I want it when you're fully tapped into your why that is when your heart and soul is speaking to you it is your deepest desires of your heart and soul that will always take you out of the ego mind back to your heart and when we're doing that then we ask ourselves the third phase which is just what is the now aligned action that I need to take when you're fully tapped into your why so you need to really spend some time on that if it's um, a new relationship that you're wanting 
if it's more money in your life, um, the, the quickest way to manifest or to bring anything into your life is number one, desire, so intense emotion around that particular thing. And the second thing that needs to line up is your belief that that can actually happen. So if your belief is waning, you will find you'll go into fear or you'll go into procrastination um, or you'll go into just feeling tense in your body and happening to feel like you've got to force it to happen. So this is where faith and grace and really, um, I, I love the book, you know, the universe has got your back and all of those things and it's not about just sitting and meditating and you know brand new car lands in your lap <laughs> no hey Lisa great to have you on hun um, it really is about um, taking aligned action but when you take aligned action and aligned action is nothing more than action that you feel inspired you feel called to do you feel like it's the right next step for you you may not have all the steps of what you actually need to do but you'll know the next step and then you'll get presented with the following step after that as well so um, that is aligned action when you feel great doing what you're doing if you feel like you've got to force it or you're tired and it's not working that's when you're in um, resistance and you're really blocking what it is that you actually really want to receive as well so um, like I said first key is number one awareness like just notice ah oh, <laughs> I'm in resistance you know it, it doesn't need to be a big story around it don't get caught in the drama because that'll keep you stuck for longer it is just like a <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Why would I be choosing to do that? Okay, clearly I've got some, I need to clean up my um, my alignment around this or my goals around this. Hey Kim, great to have you on, hun. Um, so it, number one is it really is just like awareness of, oh, yep, I'm doing that thing. <laughs> okay, clearly I'm blocking it. And another thing that actually can show up as well is um, if one area of your life is going really well, you may pick a fight or you may, um, like with your partner, or you, you may do something just to dull down that good feeling. And that's what The Big Leap talks about as well, um, the audio book that I mentioned earlier. So um, if you're only just jumping on now, definitely jump back to the start of the the live training um, just to, to understand yeah a couple of those other key aspects around we how, how we do resist why we resist uh, and then obviously yeah moving through that awareness understanding what it is that you do want instead so where is our focus going why do I want that because that inspires the heart that brings the soul and the spirit and like brings so much universal energy to our um, disposal as well when I say disposal it's kind of like you know the re universe really does have our back when we align ourselves to those energies and we're feeling amazing within ourselves and we're giving ourselves full permission to receive hey crystal hey Sal great to have you guys on uh, this this is absolutely imperative then for taking that next step and that next aligned action where it's just like oh my goodness it feels amazing it feels incredible and I'm just gonna go out and do that thing now and that's um, I was having a chat actually uh, with Lisa because we've got our dare to be you event on and um, and it can be one of the greatest um, ways of actually getting out of our head uh, particularly when we're doing public talking and things like that or even just jumping on a live stream sometimes I need to actually align myself before I jump on and do a live stream as well um, where it's like oh, why do I want to do this why is this important to me um, uh, thanks Sal that's beautiful honey um, and um, and it really is like just aligning myself to you know what do I feel called to speak about why am I inspired to speak about that um, and it's it's getting out of our own way so that we can really show up and make a difference in the world in the way that we're really wanting to as well uh -huh. <laughs> that's fabulous crystal definitely and um and so it is it's it's so 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 important um and and we not only that but we feel amazing when we're in that space when we're back in our heart space when we're back living from our soul you will feel such peace such contentment um where you can just show up in a different way for other people as well and we can really love on people without fearing about what they think or, or that you know that they're going to judge us or anything else because when we're doing that we're, we're back and we're thinking about ourselves. and um, I even though I definitely teach self-love that's not self-love though that's um, being stuck in the ego mind and the survival mind pulling back you know all of our gifts and, and holding all of our gifts and our strengths and all of our beauty that we could share with the world um, and it's only because ego scared and, and survival mind scared so it's like withdrawing and, and holding all that back in so the more that we just notice that resistance uh, if you 
you've got your own business, if you're wanting to step up and up level in your life and you're finding that this has been a repeated pattern for you, definitely reach out to me. I have one more one-to-one -one coaching spot left. Uh, so definitely reach out and, um, and we can move through that. I've got um, some beautiful, amazing clients uh, and um, all of my women coaching clients are all within the Inner Circle Mastermind, which you get 100% free uh, when you're in a one-to-one -one coaching package with me as well. So if that's something that really resonates or perhaps what I've spoken about and you can really um, resonate with what I've just mentioned uh, today and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so done with feeling like this or I'm so frustrated from going around in this cycle and feeling like I'm not actually getting to that next level, we can definitely... Um, you know, just break the whole thing open, have a look at what are the limiting beliefs and really break those down, annihilate them, get you moving forward in a really, really powerful way as well. So if that resonates, definitely send me a PM, but otherwise you can do the work yourself and, uh, and you know, you've got all of the steps there, all of the awareness and, uh, and I really look forward to hearing how this has potentially helped you and, um, yeah, look forward to hearing um, what is that next level for you? Where are you headed? Why do you want that? And why is that really, really super important to you? But otherwise, have an amazing Friday. For anybody that's going to the Dare to Be Your event tonight, I cannot wait to see you. And uh, if you haven't got your tickets, definitely jump in, grab your tickets now. Um, there are only limited spaces, so definitely um, grab them. And we will see you tonight at 6.30 p.m. at the Mantra Pavilion uh, Hotel in Wagga uh, if you're in the region if you're international like a couple of my clients are um, that obviously makes it a little bit tricky but we will definitely speak on the phone so okay guys have a fantastic day hi Kylie great to have you on too darling have an amazing day and uh, I'll chat with you guys later bye